Hi guys, welcome to this uh, new video and in this one I am going to show you Rodia's answer to uh, the bullet journal craze which is the gold book. And that's um, kind of an interesting choice because uh, technically, what I've seen uh, so far is many people bullet journal in a Leuchtturm. Um, and then I did that as well. I have a full Leuchtturm uh, uh, with, which I bullet journaled into. But this one, I think, is just a step further because I personally like the road unit books a lot better than Le the Leuchtturm, either the cover or the paper inside. And technically that's their answer to this. So, uh, it's called goal book, so it's something that will help you keep uh, to your goals exactly like a bullet journal does. does. For those of you who wouldn't know yet what a bullet journal is, it's a very nice system that's been created by a guy in the US if I remember well. Um, I will try to find the original video and put a link to it so that you can see what it is about. But technically it's an organization tool. It's a notebook that you use in different categories uh, with a dot system, uh, with a code system and then uh, you get more organized because of it. Which is absolutely true, you do get more organized. Now I, myself, I'm using a, a much simplified version of the bullet journal because I'm a kind of very simple functioning person and it works for me in a more simple way. Or in a simpler way, I think that's the right way to say it. So this one is, uh, I've got two, so this one is the uh, dot grid and this one is the graph which is a 5x5 five five squared notebook. Right, so uh, without further ado, let's have a look uh, at it. So this one is without the cover, this one is with the original cover, so it comes with this. And, well, I've got the inches on the paper, which is nice, so let's have a look. It's a 5.8 by 8.3 inches, so if you compare it to the A5, that's the uh, regular A5, Right, so as you can see, it's a little uh, smaller here. You've got like a two to three millimeters difference, and it's larger. Okay, and that's the uh, hot cover. So technically, um, if you want to bullet journal, then a simple uh, hard cover would be perfect. If you're more into soft covers and putting them into leather notebooks, which is my case, then you've got the soft cover option, which is exactly in the same collection, which is the Rodeo Roma collection. And this one is just a more advanced kind of thing, something that is already pre-designed for you. And it's 120 sheets with dot grid numbered pages. Okay, there's an index, there are two perpetual calendars, one simple and one a bit uh, bigger. You've got two ribbon bookmarks, but let's have a look at it. So, uh, this one then. Uh, this one is the color um, is it the violet or the lilac? No, it's the lilac. That's a lilac color. And there is a little defect on the cover. As you can see here, it's a kind of PU uh, cover. And so there's a little um, defect in this one. I have plenty of Morodia notebooks and I've bought plenty of them and it's the first time ever there is a defect and it's a very small one. So the quality is um, is very very nice usually. So this is a bit bigger and larger than the usual notebooks. It's also a very soft cover. It's got the orange elastic and page marks which are a reminder of the original orange notepad that made Rodia so famous. And so inside you also get that orange color. And as for the colors, I've got all of them right here. So this is all a uh, presentation of all the Rodeo Rama colors. And here you've got the uh, poppy, here is the turquoise, the sapphire blue, sapphire blue, uh, turquoise blue, um, the, uh, no, that one is the, the iris, the violet, the um, anise green, the beige, the um, daffodil yellow, the orange, black of course, um, silver, which uh, the color of which is a bit different uh, from the others, the uh, lilac, which is the same color as the one I showed you, as you can see it's exactly the same color, uh, the raspberry, 
the top and the chocolate which is the same color as this one as you can see so here we've got the small notebooks to give you an idea of all the colors you can get so and the cover is exactly the same as their soft covers which means it's a kind of PU leather, it's not real leather, but it does feel like leather, it doesn't feel like paper, it doesn't feel like cardboard, it's not like, for example in Leuchtturm the cover is very strong and you can feel it's like kind of plastic, there is a plastic cover that protects it, it from being damaged, well it's kind of the same, uh, but it, it's got some push into it and it's very soft and pliable, and here you can see that they can emboss something into it, because it works a bit like leather. So you've got the Rodia uh, logo with the two trees that represent the mountains it's made near and it's called here the gold book. So nothing on the other side and it's kind of square on that side. Okay, so let's peer inside now because it's probably what you're interested in. Double page mark in the same orange kind of saffron color. And here you can put your name or a title or something on it and it says it's a brushed vellum. Uh, from Clairefontaine, made by Clairefontaine, it's 90 gram per meter square, which means if you have one meter square of this paper, it's, it weighs 90 gram. And 90 gram uh, is a rather thick paper, well it's not very thick, but it's thick enough that your fountain pens will perform uh, perfectly in this. Well, it's not only always the case, you can have 90 gram paper and very bad fountain pen quality, but most of the time you're, it's fairly nice with that. I think it is the same in the Leuchtturm, 80 or 90 gram as well, which is usually what you find. So here you've got a ivory cream paper. It's very, very soft to the touch. Right. And you can put your contents. And you've got, um, in a bullet journal, you will uh, have a kind of index. So that would be your index, where you put the contents, and you put the page numbers, and what's inside. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pages of this. Then you move on to the calendar. So it's both in French and English, because Rodia is French. So it starts with the French, and it's an open calendar. Now, it's not written January 2017, it's an open one. And it goes from 1 to 31 if needed, and on February, when you've got 28 to 29, and then it goes on. And then you've got another calendar, because in the bullet journal, you need a small calendar like this, where you can put just one word, and then another one with um, a few more elements inside. So it goes from January to December. And then you've got a blank page, and then you start your pages, and it starts with the number 1 here. And it's a dot grid with dark gray dots. It's not black, it's dark gray. And it's 5 by 5, I think. I, I haven't checked, but I think it is. Right. Notebook is perfectly flat, and remains perfectly flat, whatever page you take. Right. You might have to push it a little, but you do not need to break the spine. No need for that, and it stays perfectly flat. And as you can see here, the dots occupy all the space but the little um, places where you've got your pages. So it starts at number 1 and finishes at 224. And then you've got um, a little... Um, it's like watercolor paper. It's got the feel of watercolor paper and it's a thicker page. And then you've got a pocket, right? which is in two colors. In, I think in all my Rodeo Roman notebooks it's in two colors, ivory and orange but I'm not sure about this. Okay, I didn't make many, many writing tests in these notebooks, and there's one reason why. It's always the same paper in the Rodian notebooks, and it's always the same quality. So basically, it's always the Clairefontaine 90 gram per meter square brushed vellum, and that paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, very soft to the touch, um, so it can be used with pencils, uh, very well, but it doesn't have a lot of grain. Oh my god, I think I... <laughs> I put that one aside. What color is this one? Yeah, that one is a tangerine, I think. Yeah, that's a tangerine. Okay, so <laughs> whatever, there was one color missing, sorry. So, um, I did a few writing tests anyways, 
and I'm going to show you the page. Right. So there's a little dent on this page which is at the end, it's the, only this one and the other one which have this little dent, the others are absolutely perfect. These are stitched um, notebooks, I don't know if I showed you the stitchings. Right, I've got four on them precisely. Right here, uh, you cannot really see them, but it's stitched notebooks. All right, so here we've got the fountain pen where I wrote that that gold book was indeed an interesting answer to the bullet journal because it is kind of simple and not too intrusive. And I mean, the principle of the bullet journal is to keep it simple so if you get too many details, then it's not really right. So that one was perfect in that regard. And then I have to find what I did with that damn large tome of mine to show you, but I haven't found it. It's like I've got so many notebooks in the used one I put somewhere and then I forget about them. Right. Uh, so as I mentioned, it's a relay 5, 10, and 40 pages. And then I tried the um, a ballpoint pen, of course, works very nicely in this because as long as it works well with fountain pens it's going to be nice with ballpoint pens and the characteristic of that paper with ballpoints is that it's buttery smooth in that particularity and it's actually quite nice also with fountain pens because it's so soft you just roll and this is perfect I also put uh, Stabilo Capi in two colors to see if it showed through and it almost didn't. It's a little show through but not much. A little. And of course it did with a strong marker but it's really not important. So um, let's see the other one to see the difference. There's only one little difference. It's that this one is a dotted notebook which is my favorite choice but sometimes people would like stronger lines and then in that case in this one you've got the graph version. And the graph version uh, offers a 5 by 5 square of gray lines that are rather thin and occupy absolutely all the space in that page. All the space is occupied by that. So, um, sometimes graph will be pre preferred by people who would like to put the, their information inside the squares and then use the rest as lines and they will be feel uh, it's easier with lines than with dots. Personally, I really like the dot system because it's non-intrusive. And then you can draw things inside and use these as reference to draw and as kind of nice. So basically, that was Rodia's answer to um, the bullet journal. And if you enjoy the Rodia notebooks, and would like a pre-made kind of bullet journal. That's a bit heavy and that's kind of big. I know many people bullet journal in simple traveler's notebooks are in a much smaller size. I personally like the A5 size. Now that's an A5 that's kind of heavy and you've got plenty of pages and it's kind of nice. But then it's kind of heavy too. If you want to go about with it, who knows. But it's a nice kind of answer and I think I was surprised it didn't come um, um, before, but anyways, so you have a tr plenty of colors to choose from and um, the cover is very, very nice. There's also something that you might be interested in. in. This cover has some push into it and you might think that it's kind of fragile uh, compared to Leuchtturm, which is very solid. Right. So it's not as fragile as it looks, not as, as fragile. Um, I've actually used uh, Rodeo notebooks for months or years, sometimes depending on what I put on this and I never ever had an issue with the cover. Now if you put that in a bag, which is not my case, uh, I put them in school bags, not in bags, um, but if you put them in a bag and then you've got your keys coming and scratching into it, maybe that will leave a dent. Well, very probably that will, but that would leave a, a dent in almost any, every, every notebook. Any notebook, sorry. So, thanks for watching this video.
Uh, I hope it gave you a kind of nice vision of that tool, which is the goal book. And now in my upcoming video, I will show you something very special, which is the Heritage Collection. That's a very nice collection of um, light and dark tones notebook, notebooks in neo-retro designs that I really, really like. And they are kind of inexpensive as well, which is nice as well. Okay, thanks for watching.